It's just a bonus. <laughs> I think it's super important for individual people to have two relationships. Okay? Now, I have to speak to monogamous people because... People who are in poly relationships and extras on the plate ships is too much to to explain how I'm thinking it. But because I'm a monogamous lover, <clears throat> I do monogamous relationships. I'm going to speak on that overall look. So the reason why I say I think people should have two relationship, two romantic relationships if you are in a relationship is because if you don't have a romantic relationship with yourself, all of your love and care and self-reflection on how you look and how you seem and how you're showing up can start to lean on the person you're in a romantic relationship with. So it's better if before you get in that relationship with a person that is not self, you already have a great, healthy, romantic relationship with you, period. Because if you don't care for yourself properly and you don't love yourself properly, and you think you're going to learn to love yourself better if you're with someone, or you can fix someone, or you can show up in a way in their life where, oh my God, you are making this person's life so much better. They have no choice but to love you. If that person has some shit with them, where they can appreciate you or see the goodness that you bring in their life, what is that going to do to you? And I think a lot of people are like super codependent or crutch on someone loving them because they're doing things or someone loving them because they're giving you money or they're hugging you today because you pay their phone bill or they're texting you back after you done text them three times this week and acknowledging you because you sent them flowers to their job or some shit. Like you shouldn't have to do backflips for someone to appreciate how you're showing up in their life. You shouldn't have to uh, make this grand entrance every time you see a person in order for them to acknowledge your existence. If that's who truly cares for you, if that's who truly wants to be in your life and reciprocate the energy that you're giving. I think a lot of people don't even leave the space or the time for another person to reciprocate where they are with them. So they just constantly doing, 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 doing in order to get like a hint or they do love me or they do care or they do see me or I know I went to all of their, you know, games or or shows or Um, award ceremonies, but remember that time they did come to that practice? Like, it's not measuring out. The reciprocation is not vivid, okay? And so having a romantic relationship with yourself would check yourself because once someone else comes into the mix that wants to be in a romantic relationship with you, then the way that they treat you would be very clear on if they care. The way that they um, say that they love you and the actions they show to match what they're saying will be 
very vivid. It wouldn't be cloudy. It wouldn't be, oh, they're just having a hard time. That's why they're being mean to me. Or, you know, that's just how they talk. If you have a conversation with the person you're romantically with and you say, hey, I understand that you might be upset. I understand that this is how you talk to everybody else. But for me, I don't want you talking to me like this. And they say, okay, I hear you. And then they get upset again. And then it's just like right back to like you didn't say anything. You don't keep saying and explaining what you already explained. Now it's time for you to say, okay, talk to yourself. Say, okay, this person clearly doesn't care about the time I took to explain how I would like to be treated, how I would like to be respected. What is my next step? Okay? And if you don't love yourself enough to have those mini self discussions with yourself, you're going to end up tossing weeks, months, uh, years into a relationship that shouldn't have gone past three months, six months, a year, two years, four years, five years. And then I sometimes I'm just like, dog. You got to a point where you knew this was not going in the direction you wanted. But because you are so stuck on making this work or making it look like it worked or proving a point to the people outside of you that I'm still here, they're still here, so we still doing this, you, you're staying. But to whose detriment? You're dealing with this person on a level that you never respected in the first place. To whose detriment? To yours. Why? Because you didn't take out the time enough to have a romantic relationship with yourself and be like, there are certain things that I am not going to put up with. There are certain things that I'm not going to sit through. There are certain ways a person can treat me. There are certain ways a person cannot treat me. I love these things. If I get in a relationship and someone tells me, no, you're not allowed to do the, those things that you love before me, now you have to stop. Because I said, that clearly is not the relationship for, relationship for me. I don't know what the fuck it is where people get into relationships with people and allow them to completely erase their love for themselves and move in their entitlement. And I'm saying you need two romantic relationships in every dealings with a human being is because if you love yourself enough to know your boundaries, you will not let anyone else cross them shits. If you love yourself enough to know how you need to be treated at bare minimum, no one will be able to be like, ah, ah. We're not doing what you want. We doing what I want. Forget your thoughts. Forget your dreams. Forget your passions. This is what I want to do. After I get what I want done, then we'll think about what you want to do. When you love yourself in a balanced way, you don't choose people to knock you off where you're supposed to be at. You don't choose people to make your passions become dust. You don't choose friendships that erase your relevance or um, your thoughts or your opinions. Um, and, you, and you start to pick people who are great reflections of who you are or who you aim to be. And that's why I say you need two relationships with yourself, okay? And that's all I had to say about that, but... I'm just like, dog, two relationships, okay, that is that is like bare minimum. I can't love another person. I can't even love my children in the best way if I don't love myself. Because I have to love myself enough to be like, Chantal, 
you got to show up for you today and you got to show up for them. So in reality right now, because I'm not in a romantic relationship, I am showing up for myself romantically and I'm showing up for two kids, two brown skinned girls in a loving motherly way that is like a constant reflection of, well, damn, Chantal, did you say something to them to hurt their feelings long term? Let's fix it now before it comes like a whole thing they got to go to therapy for when they're 23. <laughs> like it's it's constantly that, you know? And so I'm always like, gosh, like, did I tell the girls that I love them today? Did I hug them today? Um, did I do something today that they wanted to do? Like, And if you don't do that in your romantic relationship with an adult, because I'm speaking to adults right now, then you're dropping the ball in a major way and you're missing the point of them being in your life. If if you don't check in with your friends to make sure that they're okay and you only show up for them when you're celebrating a birthday or you're going out for drinks or it's some paganistic holiday, you are dropping the ball because people would love to hear from someone that actually gives a fuck. People will love to have the company of someone who genuinely cares, who genuinely wants to know if you need anything. I can't stand when people ask me, do you need anything, but don't want to respond on if somebody needs anything. Stop fucking asking that non-genuine shit. Do, and, I don't, and I don't ask people how they're doing just because they ask me how I'm doing. If I really want to know how the fuck you're doing, I'm going to ask you, what's up? What you got going on? How you feeling? But if I don't and you be like, complete straight, hey, how are you doing today? Sometimes people's how are you doing today is more so like, hey, a second time. It's not because they give a fuck. It's not because they want to know. And I'm the type of person, if you ask me that shit, I'm going to give you a real answer. And you might not be prepared for that real answer. So don't ask me that shit if you're not genuine, because I'm going to give you a real answer. But please, love yourself first. Love yourself first, because that's going to help you balance out not giving a fuck about people who try to give you less than what you deserve. You're not going to be offended by people that you want to get to know or you feel like are interesting and they're just like, "Eh, I'm going to let your text message sit for five days or I'm not going to acknowledge that you did something nice for me. I'm going to do it whenever I want to. When they acknowledge you, do do whatever you want to do with that shit, but don't keep pouring in good energy on that shit because Killing people with kindness, and I've talked about this already, is bullshit. Killing people with kindness does not give them the lessons that they motherfucking deserve in order to change their ways. And some people change because they recognize that they've been on some bullshit. And other people do not change. And you know, the majority of percentage of people that do not change are the people that meet people that are like, I'm just going to kill them with kindness. I'm going to be sweet even though they're being a bitch or I'm going to be nice even though he's an asshole. They take advantage of you, the next person, and the next person, and the next person because it has worked regardless of what they did. So, yeah, do with that what you motherfucking will. My name is Shan. Thank you for listening. Go about your day. (sighs) Let me finish watching Couples Therapy because... The way this is a repellent of being in a relationship for me is so good. (laughs) The ghetto.